Hi guys, thank you for watching at Video World Videos. In this session, we'll be looking over administration. And administration is quite a big module, and it contains all the settings for your SAP Business One to run it smoothly. So it will be covered in two or three parts. So let us start. Basically, administration is the module where you are defining all the setups and the masters that will make the base for your SME business one example like you define your exchange rates you define the company details you define setup for your financial for your sales define document settings their numberings and other things so to prepare SAP business one use at your own company you can use this module to do the plenty of important things like specifying information about the company, user information in the system and then currency exchange rates. It has also important settings like authorization and alerts which are very much important when you are talking about implementation. Then alert approvers are there. Then the mailing system can be configured through this and basically this module is where the external application will interact with SAP Business One. So it is all about importing and exporting from SAP Business One to SAP Business One. Coming to the first window or the first menu item that is choosing the company. Here you choose your company, you give your ID then password, you select your server and uh, after selecting you can just press OK. Next is to create a new company you see that I have highlighted a new company button here so when you click this new company button it opens up a window like this site user this is the first step where you have to give your site user user ID and uh, password you have to give and then the setup will start then this is the create new company when you have successfully given your site user password then you can work from this window where you can give your company name the database name if you want to have a trial version you can click over here then you have some local settings like which country you are working from United States India or Europe then chart of accounts are there then basic language you can set up then you have another small button here where you have to define posting periods and this is a mandatory setting that you have to do second window that we are learning about is exchange rates so this window lets you define either manually or automatically the rates for indexes as well as the exchange rate for the foreign currencies so basically you are defining whatever be your system currency you can define the conversions like either in Canadian dollar or euro you can define it and in this window you see here header this is the drop down where you can define for the month and the year and the dates and you can define those currency exchange rates next tab or the menu that we are looking is from the system initialization folder and we are looking at company details menu item so first tab is general and then again sub tab is local language so you can use this tab to define the basic values for the companies you can use the local language sub tab to specify the company details to be printed on the documents that will be having these details so whenever an invoice is being printed or whenever you are sending some important documents then all these things will be mentioned on that document like your company name, the address, the post office box number or the name and then city and other things. Then you have something like printing header which will be the company's name has to be displayed on the documents that will be printed through SAP Business One. And then there are other information as well down here. Active manager you can see is the employee that will be displayed in the documents that will be printed. Next is the accounting tab. 
these are some general information about the accounts that you can put in whether you want to use the tax or not the primary tax code tax office then you have tax IDs here and then holidays you can define and if you click on this golden arrow you can actually define the holidays for that particular year then the third tab is the basic initialization tab where you have your chart of account templates I believe these are uneditable because this we have defined on the first stage when we were creating the new company then you have local currency then system currency you can default the currencies as well then you have some basic settings here like you have multi-language support and other things and if you want to give the default item groups valuation method you can give from here so every time you create a new item it will have moving average as a default valuation method later on you can change it all right so you have house bank details also that you can put moving on further we will see the second menu item that is general setting so in general setting you have first tab as a business partner basically this tab is used to define the behavior of the business partner and your company's interaction so you can define the credit limit commitment limit and if you want to activate those credit limit and commitment limit you can check on this these two boxes okay now if you want to consider the de delivery balances you can again check on this box uh, now there are three types of commission that you can set you can set your commission by sales employee so each of the sales employee may have different commissions you can set the commission by items so meaning all the items will have different commissions associated with them or through the customers then you have some default payment terms for customer and vendor and payment method for customer and vendor and other default things next is the budget where you actually define budget settings here if you want to initiate the budget then you have to check on this setting and after checking on this box only then all these things will become active and there is another setting within this setup here which we will see later on so that is it for this session in the next session we will see the second part of administration module thank you Thank you.